we're back with Malik. Malik and Saul. Kalonord is dead, but Malik has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malik? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. So he's the next guy we're gonna have to take down. Oh dang. The guy just walked in front of you, you have to be that mean. It's still going, right? Yeah, it's still recording. Find Bastila and bring her to me, alive if possible. As you command, Master. So now we get to see where the star map on Kashyyyk is. Deep in the jungle. You know, one thing I was actually thinking, to be fair, this game came out in 2003, which would have been two years before Revenge of the Sith came out, and Revenge of the Sith was the first movie that showed Kashyyyk. So I guess technically this game went to Kashyyyk before the movies did, so in a way it's a little more original than I first gave it credit. It wasn't fair of me to just assume it before. Alright, we got another vision. I felt it, yes. Another vision. The force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Riven and Malak. Kashyyyk is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. It looked like the star map was on the forest the floor. The warriors of Kashyyyk make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only the bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Alrighty. Alright. We're taking Bastila and Zalbar with us. Karst is going to have to sit this one out. Greetings to you, er, while I am pleased to welcome you to the planet G5623, I do not see your ship on my docking schedule. The Zerka Corporation will see to your needs, of course, but there will be a 100 credit docking fee in advance, I fear. Very well, 100 credits. Welcome to Edan. To Edan. Trade desi designation C5 G5623. Zerka Corporation welcomes you. For welcome. Jeez Louise, I'm terrible at this. I see you have a Wookiee with you. Can I, ass can I assume you understand their language? For a fee, Zerka Corporation can provide a translator for you during your visit. I'll have no trouble. That won't be. That will not be necessary. Very well. Though only the most adeptive people seem to comprehend the Wookiee language, such as it is. Now then, please follow me to our information center. I will an answer any further questions there. Is this that guy from Tatooine? Hold on. Greetings to you again, human. It is that guy. It would seem the call of the hunt has brought us both to this troubled world. I have not been here long, but I can already see I will not be as welcome here as I had hoped. What are you doing here, Comad? Follow? Or, no, it's not. When, why did you leave your home on Tatooine? It was a hard decision. Oh, wait, I gave this guy a Scottish accent, didn't I? It was a hard decision, but I felt I had no other choice. I had done a disservice to the apex predator of that world. It was time to go. Oh, shoot. I have come here to seek even greater prey than what we faced on Tatooine, but the climate here is politically cold, and I don't know if I will be allowed to hunt. What per whose permission are you looking for? 
An astute question. Zerka Corporation seems in control here, but they don't care if I wander it. They don't care if I wander the Shadowlands so long as I have paid the docking fee. Instead, I hope to gain the trust of the native Wookiee population. I'm not here just to kill the biggest thing I can find. I want to understand how they hunt. What are you going to do to gain the trust? Very little. I'm sure they have enough off-worlders like the Zerka claiming good intentions. I will simply try to stay out of their way. I have heard of an off-worlder that has gained the respect of living in the Shadowlands for some years. Perhaps I will attempt the same. It could just be a hunter's tale though. What do you know about Kashyyyk? I know that I don't know enough. Even from this docking area I can see the world is a true wonder. My desert damned imagination didn't do it justice. It's just a shame to see the Zerka Corporation here. They lack an appreciation for the wild we for the wild nature of this world. I don't like having to deal with them. If not Zerka, who, who would you prefer to deal with? The native leadership of the Wookiees, of course. This is their world, after all. I can't understand why they have allowed it to be misused. Perhaps they had no choice. There is always the option to fight, even if there is no option to win. Of course, that is an easy thing for me to say, being an outsider. I would hope that they are not complacent in the enslavement of their world, but it is not my place to judge. I have only just arrived. I have to leave. Goodbye. Farewell. Perhaps we will meet again. A great hunt on this world would be glorious. Kashik, my home. I should have prepared you for coming here, but I don't know if, you're, if I've prepared myself. Prepared me? What do you mean? I didn't leave Kashyyyk voluntarily. Mission must have told you how I was fleeing slavers, but there was more. I am in exile. The slavers on Kashyyyk only took me after I was forced to leave my village home 20 years ago. Why were you forced to leave? My brother made deals with the slavers and allowed them to get a foothold. I found out and attacked him. The fight was stopped, but my father did not believe me when I told him about my brother's actions. He, I was made in exile, disowned by my own people. I should not be here. They will not accept me back. Why didn't your father believe you? When I attacked my mother, when I attacked my brother, I was so mad. I used my claws. You don't understand what that means to a Wookiee. Our claws are tools, not weapons. To use them in battle is to become an animal. It is madness without honor. I am forever a mad claw in the eyes of my people. Nothing I say is to be trusted. They were right to cast me out. Time has changed. Things will have changed. The slavers are still here. The dock is theirs. I doubt anyone has risen to try and fight. Nothing has changed. I just hope I can prove myself to my people. It will be difficult to make them listen. I just don't know. Well, we'll deal with that if we have to. Let's go. I don't have much hope. Man, poor Zalbar. I think this was the guy, Janos. <laughs> Greetings again. How can the Zerka Corporation serve you during your visit to Edan? It would seem that you are already acquainted with this world, given your choice of traveling companion. I have been away for a very long time. You let the beast speak for you. You allow it more liberties than most of our customers. He means that they are slavers. They take my people from their homes and sell them up to the highest bidder. Your current Wookiee seems displeased with the situation, but I fail to see a concern. You seem to be a satisfied customer. Zalbar is no slave. He pledged a life debt to me. Ah, a very difficult thing to stage. I commend you for it. So much easier than relying on restraining collars. Arrangements have been made with the Wookiee leadership. Harvesting is a handled as delicately as possible, relatively speaking. What is the leader's name? I believe his name is Chundar. I don't deal directly with them, thank goodness. Far too brutish. Ugh, that's not a name I want to hear. It sounds as though your thrall has an opinion about the arrangement with this leader, but it doesn't matter. Chundar is unquestioned. What is it, Zalbar? What's the matter? This is not something I want to talk about. Not yet. Please, is there anything else? I have work to do. I'm through speaking with you for now. Very good. Feel free to inspect our operation here, but I would advise against going too far from the main landing area. 
the planet is still very much untamed, and we do not send patrols for lost tourists. Let's see if the burst of speed thing is gonna work. Nope. It's still bad. It's still real bad. Oh, we had a really hard time with these things on uh, Dantooine in the caves. Uh, that was that was an adventure you, did, you guys didn't get to see because I uh, edited that part out. It was just long and nothing like, super interesting happened. Can you sense it? The wind, the sound, the smells. I feel it all now that we are away from the spaceport. This walkway is new, probably built by the slavers, but I remember the trees. My village was not far from here. Is there anything I can help you with? It is kind of you to offer, but my problems are very personal. I'm not sure if I'm ready to deal with them. I must warn you of one thing. I don't know if I will be a help or hindrance to you here. My father was very powerful, a chieftain. Perhaps his feelings have mellowed, but if my brother had his ear this whole time, it may become I may become very unwelcome. Uh, we'll deal with that when it time comes. That is what I am dreading. My shame was meant to be forgotten on some faraway world. I never thought I'd come back. I'm sorry, I have taken enough of your time. We should press on. We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you you're could at least face me. Corporation business. What happened here? This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. You put it down? We're not animals. Zalbar, let me handle this. But their disregard for life of this Wookiee is too much. I have asked you to let me handle this. Honor my request. I will do so for your sake, not theirs. Careful now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have another accident. Zalbar yes, ain't no slave. Up, you trigger-happy idiot. Do your superiors approve of you killing Wookiees? Of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? You're doing some sort of snap inspection? We're trying to get... Perhaps I am. ...competence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another easy enough. I won't allow you to enslave or kill another Wookiee. Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? I'm Sophie Douglas. Uh, Force Persuade, now move I, your patrol off-world. I think I should pull in some favors and get us moved off-world, man. Uh, are you all right, Captain? Are you questioning my orders? You don't want to do that. If... if you say so, Captain. Yes, I say so. Move out. This place just isn't worth the trouble. Night side points gained, yay! On Zalbar, Bastila. Will you stop spazzing? That's not healthy. That's gonna give you. It's gonna like mess with your inner ears. Jeez. Oh, there's a Wookie guard. Let's see what's going on here. You are not permitted to pass this shadow into the Shadowlands. Only Chondal may allow you entry. Especially when you bring filth such as this with you. The Mad Claw has no place here. Who are you? Question my place. You follow Chandar into the arms of outsiders. And yet you travel with outsiders your spell. Speak no more. Chandar will decide if you are permitted to enter the Shadowlands. Where is this Wookiee I need to see? Speak with Chandar in the village of Rukro. I have no idea how you say that. He will decide if you are worthy. Alright, where is this place that I need to go? Ow, what, what's happening to my brain? Why is my brain purple? Stop where you are, outsider. You enter the domain of Chunda. Stand aside, this human is with me and I want access to the home of my people. You have no rights there, Mad Claw. This human should not have brought you, should not have brought this tiny upon our land. You must answer to Chunda. What does he mean, Salbar? He means me. I am the taint that you have brought back. Shut up! You are nameless and with dishonor, Mad Claw. Yours is the foulest that disgusts me. Oh, enough talk. You and the outcast Mad Claw will be taken to Chunda now. Okay then, that was easy. What? Well, uh, Zalbar? This party member you select is currently un unable to join the party. Zalbar, no! Rip Zalbar. So I guess. I guess we're bringing Karth back with us. 
stepped forward and addressed a mighty and wise Chundar outsider. I don't often allow visitors of your kind. You are flaked by Zerka slavers. Are they not outsiders, or have you sold all of Kashyyyk to them? Ah, brother Zalba, it's been a long... You've been exiled a long time. You shouldn't speak in that tone. Things are different now. You are a mad claw without honor. You had no voice among your people. I, on the other hand, am chieftain. If you made deals with the slavers, the truth will get out eventually. You may talk, but no one will believe you. I've had a long time to guide my pe what my people think. They trust me, the mighty Chunda. Even with my brother insane and my father enslaved, I rose to protect the people despite it all. Father was enslaved? Mighty Chundar, what are you talking about? You are the runt. I am no runt. Yeah, like I said, Zalbar, a lot has changed in your years away. We will discuss this soon enough. What do you want? Why drag us here? I haven't killed Zalbar because he is my brother, and I hoped he and I could come to an agreement. You are irrelevant. I may be able to put you to use on a menial task. Zalbar will stay here, of course. No, I want Zalbar with me. What is this task? A simple thing. Another Wookiee has suffered the same fate as Zalbar, gone mad and been exiled. He now lurks in the Shadowlands. More importantly, he's pestering my Zerka allies during the Shadowland expeditions. It's not good for business. He's standing against you the first of many, perhaps? No one will follow a Mad Claw. He is a merely a nuisance. Besides, he cowers in the Shadowlands. My people know nothing of him. I won't do this. Do your own dirty work. You don't have much choice. You can flee the planet if you want, but I'm keeping Zalba here with me. He'll stay until the Mad Claw is dead. The Zerka would never let me hold you, but they don't care what I do with my fellow Wookiees. I need Zalbar with me as a guide. No, you won't need him to find your way. Over the years, I have had my people trained to understand Galactic Basic. I tell them it's better to understand the enemy. That way, they think the Zerka is easy to fight. Actually, it makes them easier to obey. Remember, you can't beat me here. No one would dare oppose me to join with an outsider or an exile. You are wrong, brother. Someone would. Who are you talking about, Zalbar? Do you speak of Freyr, our father? Why? He was the one that ordered you exiled when you attacked me. He went as mad as you when he finally discovered the slavers. He dared challenge them alone and has not been seen since. That was years ago. Let him go, Zalbar. I rule now. I'll take the Wookiees forward. Play along, Zalbar. I'll see what I can do. No more words, outsider. I've given my orders. I can't hold you here, but Zalbar will stay with me until the Mad Claw in the Shadowlands. We should proceed with caution, however. Indeed. The gods will let you pass now. Leave the village to the northwest and follow the platform to the south and then east. You'll eventually see where the Gur Wulken waits for you. He'll lower you into the forest floor. Go. So now we have to rescue Zalbar. <laughs> Again. That's no, no es bueno. No es bueno. And also, I'm walking of my own accord again. I am not controlling that. Okay, she stopped. But I'm going to wrap up recording here for now. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, keep on keeping on.